Soyuz Russian Soyuz meaning union Grau Index 11A511 is a family of expendable launch systems developed by OKB-1 and manufactured by Progress Rocket Space Center in Samara, Russia. With over 1700 flights since its debut in 1966, the Soyuz is the most frequently used launch vehicle in the world. When the US Space Shuttle program ended in 2011, Soyuz rockets became the only launch vehicles able to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. The Soyuz vehicles are used as the launcher for the crewed Soyuz spacecraft as part of the Soyuz program, as well as to launch uncrewed Progress Supply spacecraft to the International Space Station and for commercial launches marketed and operated by Starsim and Arianespace. All Soyuz rockets use RP-1 and liquid oxygen LOX propellant, with the exception of the Soyuz U-2, which used Sinton, a variant of RP-1, with LOX. The Soyuz family is a subset of the R7 family. Topic: History. Topic: A space workhorse. The Soyuz launcher was introduced in 1966, deriving from the Vostok launcher, which in turn was based on the 8K74 or R7A intercontinental ballistic missile. It was initially a three-stage rocket with a Block I upper stage. Later a Molnir variant was produced by adding a fourth stage, allowing it to reach the highly elliptical Molnir orbit. A later variant was the Soyuz U. While the exact model and variant designations were kept secret from the West, the Soyuz launcher was referred to by either the United States Department of Defense designation of SL-4, or the Sheldon designation of A-2 developed by Charles S. Sheldon, an analyst with the Library of Congress. Both systems for naming Soviet rockets stopped being used as more accurate information became available. The production of Soyuz launches reached a peak of 60 per year in the early 1980s. It has become the world's most used space launcher, flying over 1,700 times, far more than any other rocket. Despite its age and perhaps thanks to its simplicity, this rocket family has been notable for its low cost and high reliability. Topic: Soyuz Fregat. In the early 1990s, plans were made for a redesigned Soyuz with a Fregat upper stage. The Fregat engine was developed by NPO Lavochkin from the propulsion module of its Phobos interplanetary probes. Although endorsed by the Russian Space Agency and the Russian Ministry of Defense in 1993 and designated Rus. As a Russification and modernization of Soyuz, and later renamed Soyuz 2, a funding shortage prevented implementation of the plan. The creation of Starsim in July 1996 provided new funding for the creation of a less ambitious variant, the Soyuz Fregat or Soyuz U. Fregat. This consisted of a slightly modified Soyuz U combined with the Fregat upper stage, with a capacity of up to 1,350 kg to geostationary transfer orbit. In April 1997, Starsim obtained a contract from the European Space Agency to launch two pairs of Cluster 2 plasma science satellites using the Soyuz Fregat. Before the introduction of this new model, Starsim launched 24 satellites of the Global Star constellation in six launches with a restartable ACAR upper stage, between September 22, 1999 and November 22, 1999. After successful test flights of Soyuz Fregat on February 9, 2000 and March 20, 2000, the Cluster 2 satellites were launched on July 16, 2000 and August 9, 2000. Another Soyuz Fregat launched the ESA's Mars Express probe from Baikonur in June 2003. Now the Soyuz Fregat launcher is used by Starsim for commercial payloads. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> ISS Crew Transport. 
between February 1, 2003 and July 26, 2005 with the grounding of the U.S. Space Shuttle fleet, Soyuz was the only means of transportation to and from the International Space Station. This included the transfer of supplies, via Progress spacecraft, and crew changeovers. Since the retirement of the Space Shuttle fleet in 2011, the U.S. space program is without any means to take astronauts into orbit, and NASA is dependent on the Soyuz to send crew into space for the immediate future. NASA is scheduled to resume crewed flights from the United States in 2019 through the Commercial Crew Development Program. Recent incidents A long string of successful Soyuz launches was broken on October 15, 2002 when the uncrewed Soyuz U launch of the Photon M satellite from Plesetsky fell back near the launch pad and exploded 29 seconds after lift-off. One person from the ground crew was killed and eight injured. Another failure occurred on June 21, 2005, during a Molniya military communications satellite launch from the Plesetsky launch site, which used a four-stage version of the rocket called Molniya M. The flight ended six minutes after the launch because of a failure of the third-stage engine or an unfulfilled order to separate the second and third stages. The rocket's second and third stages, which are identical to the Soyuz, and its payload a Molniya 3K satellite crashed in the Yuvatsky region of Tumen, Siberia, on August 24, 2011. An uncrewed Soyuz U carrying cargo to the International Space Station crashed, failing to reach orbit. On December 23, 2011 a Soyuz 2-1B launching a Meridian 5 military communications satellite failed in the seventh minute of launch because of an anomaly in the third stage. On October 11, 2018, the Soyuz MS-10 mission to the International Space Station failed to reach orbit after an issue with the main booster. The launch escape system was used to pull the Soyuz spacecraft away from the malfunctioning rocket. The two crew, Alexei Ovshinin and Nick Haig, followed a ballistic trajectory and landed safely over 400 km downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. <laughs> Soyuz 2 and Guiana spaceport The venerable Soyuz launcher is gradually being replaced by a new version, now named Soyuz Street or Soyuz 2, which has a new digital guidance system and a highly modified third stage with a new engine. The first development version of Soyuz 2 called Soyuz 2-1A, which is already equipped with the digital guidance system, but is still propelled by an old third-stage engine, started on November 4, 2004 from Plesetsky on a suborbital test flight, followed by an orbital flight on October 23, 2006 from Baikonur. The fully modified launcher version Soyuz 21B flew first on December 27, 2006 with the Koro satellite from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. On 19 January 2005, the European Space Agency and the Russian Federal Space Agency agreed to launch Soyuz – Saint rockets from the Guiana Space Center. The equatorial launch site allows the Soyuz to deliver 2.7 to 4.9 tons into sun-synchronous orbit, depending on the third-stage engine used. Construction of a new pad started in 2005 and was completed in April 2011. The pad used vertical loading common at Guiana, unlike the horizontal loading used at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. A simulated launch was conducted in early May 2011. The first operational launch happened on 21 October 2011, bearing the first two satellites in Galileo Global Positioning System. The Soyuz U and Soyuz FG rockets are gradually being replaced by Soyuz 2 from 2014 onwards. Soyuz U was retired in 2017, while Soyuz FG still carries astronaut crews to the ISS as of 2018. Topic Variants 
Soyuz 11A511 (1966–1975), Soyuz L11A511L (1970–1971), Soyuz M11A511M (1971–1976). Soyuz U-11A511U, 1973 to 2017. Soyuz U-21A511U2 or 11A511K, 1982 to 1995. Soyuz FG-11A511UFG, 2001 today. Soyuz 214A14, 2006 today. The Molniya M, 1964 to 2010, was also derived from the Soyuz family. Topic <inaudible> Assembly. The rocket is assembled horizontally in the assembly and testing building. The assembled rocket is transported to the launch site in its horizontal state and then raised. This is different from the vertical assembly of, for example, the Saturn V, and is one of the features that makes Soyuz cheaper to prepare for launch. Assembling a horizontally positioned rocket is relatively simple as all modules are easily accessible. Assembling the rocket in vertical position would require a windproof high-rise hangar, which was not considered financially feasible at the time the rocket was designed, due to the failing economy of the Soviet Union. <laughs> Pre-launch The entire rocket is suspended in the launch system by the load-bearing mechanisms on the strap on boosters where they are attached to the central core. The latter rests on the nose sections of the strap on boosters. This scheme resembles flight conditions when the strap on boosters push the central core forward. The concept of suspending the rocket was one of the novelties introduced with the R7, Soyuz. Since the launch pad has been eliminated, the bottom portion of the rocket is lowered. The launch system trusses bear the wind loads. Resistance to high wind is an important feature of the launch system, as the Kazakhstan steppes, where the Baikonur launch site is located, are known for windstorms. <laughs> launch. The engines are ignited by electrically initiated pyrotechnic flares, mounted on birch poles, which are ignited at approximately T20, a few seconds before fuel components are introduced into the combustion chamber. This sequence rarely fails due to its simplicity. During launch, the support booms track the movement of the rocket. After the support boom heads emerge from the special support recess in the nose sections of the strap-ons, the support booms and trusses disconnect from the rocket airframe, swiveling on the support axes and freeing the way for the rocket to lift off. During launch, the rocket and the launch facility form a single dynamic system. When the strap-on booster engines stop, the boosters fall away, providing non-impact separation. If the skies are clear, ground observers can see a Korolev cross formed by the falling boosters. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Fairings used for uncrewed missions. The Soyuz launch vehicle is used for various Russian uncrewed missions and is also marketed by Starsim for commercial satellite launches. Presently the following fairing types are used Progress is the cargo spacecraft for uncrewed missions to the ISS and previously to Mir. The spacecraft uses a dedicated platform and fairing and can be launched with either Soyuz U, Soyuz FG or Soyuz 2. A type fairing is used for commercial launches, S type fairing is used for commercial launches by Starsim. The fairing has external diameter of 3.7 meters and a length of 7.7 meters. The fregate upper stage is encapsulated in the fairing with the payload and a payload adapter dispenser. 
S-type fairing along with frigate upper stage were used to launch the following spacecraft, Galaxy 14, GIOVEA, Mars Express, Amos 2, Venus Express, Cluster, SL-type fairing is used for commercial launches by Starsim. The fairing has external diameter of 3.7 meters and a length of 8.45 meters. The frigate upper stage is encapsulated in the fairing with the payload and a payload adapter, dispenser. SL-type fairing along with frigate upper stage were used to launch the following spacecraft, Coro, Saint-type fairing is used for commercial launches by Starsim. Its external diameter is 4.1 meters and its length is 11.4 meters. It can be used with the Soyuz 2 only, because older analog control system cannot cope with aerodynamic instability introduced by a fairing this large. This carbon plastic fairing is based on the proven configuration used for Arian Space's Ariane 4 vehicles, with its length increased by approximately one additional meter. The fairing has been developed and is being manufactured by TSSKB Progress in accordance with the requirements of a customer Starsum. This is the only fairing type offered by Starsum, Arian Space for launches from Kourou. Topic Stages Topic First Stage The first stage of Soyuz rockets consists of four identical conical liquid booster rockets, strapped to the second stage core. Each booster has a single rocket motor with four combustion chambers, two vernier combustion chambers, and one set of turbopumps. Statistics Each of four boosters. Gross mass, 44.5 t pounds. Propellant, 39.2 t pounds. Dry mass, 3,784 kilograms, 8,342 pounds. Diameter, 2.68 meters, 8 feet 10 in. Length, 19.6 meters, 64 feet 4 in. Burn time, 118 s. Engines. Soyuz and Soyuz U models. Road 107. Thrust 813 kilonewtons, 183 kLbf at liftoff. Thrust 991 kilonewtons, 223 kLbf in vacuum. Specific impulse 245 seconds, 2.40 kilometers per second at liftoff. Specific impulse 310 seconds, 3.0 kilometers per second in vacuum. Chamber pressure 5.85 megapascals, 848 psi. Soyuz street models. RD107A 14D22. Thrust 838 kilonewtons, 188 kLbf at liftoff. Thrust 1021 kilonewtons, 230 kLbf in vacuum. Specific impulse 245 seconds, 2.40 kilometers per second at liftoff. Est. Specific impulse 310 seconds, 3.0 kilometers per second in vacuum. Est. Chamber pressure 5.85 megapascals, 848 psi. Soyuz FG RD-107A 14D22. Thrust 775 kilonewtons, 174 kLbf at liftoff. Specific impulse 320.2 seconds, 3. 140 kilometers per second in vacuum. Topic. Second stage The second stage of the Soyuz booster is a single, generally cylindrical stage with one motor at the base and is activated with the first stage. Like each of the first stage rockets, it also has four combustion chambers and one set of turbopumps, but four instead of two vernier combustion chambers. 
The second stage tapers toward the bottom to allow the four first stage rockets to fit more closely together. Gross mass 105.4 t, pounds. Propellant 95.4 t, pounds. Propellant Soyuz U2 with Sinton propellant 96.4 t, pounds. Dry mass 6875 kilograms, 15160 pounds. Length 28 meters, 91 feet 10 in. Diameter 2.95 meters, 9 feet 8 in. Burn time 290 s. Engines Soyuz and Soyuz U models. Road 108. Thrust 779 kilonewtons, 175 kLbf at liftoff. Thrust 997 kilonewtons, 224 kLbf in vacuum. Specific impulse 264 seconds, 2.59 kilometers per second at liftoff. Specific impulse 311 seconds, 3.05 kilometers per second in vacuum. Chamber pressure 5.1 megapascals, 740 psi. Soyuz U2 model with Sinton fuel. Road 108. Thrust 811 kilonewtons, 182 kLbf at liftoff. Thrust 1009 kilonewtons, 227 kLbf in vacuum. Specific impulse 264 seconds, 2.59 kilometers per second at liftoff. Specific impulse 311 seconds, 3.05 kilometers per second in vacuum. Chamber pressure 5.1 megapascals, 740 psi. Soyuz street models. Road 118, 11D512. Thrust 792 kilonewtons, 178 kLbf at liftoff. Thrust 990 kilonewtons, 222 kLbf in vacuum. Specific impulse 264 seconds, 2.59 kilometers per second at liftoff. Est. Specific impulse 311 seconds, 3.05 kilometers per second in vacuum. Est. Chamber pressure 5. 85 megapascals, 848 psi. Topic: Third stage. There are two variant upper stages in use: the Block I and Improved Block I, used in Soyuz 21B. Gross mass: 25.2 t, 55,600 pounds. Propellant: 21.4 to 22.9 t, 47,200 to 50,500 pounds. Dry mass: 2,355 kilograms, 5,190 pounds. Length: 6.7 meters, 22 feet 0 in. Diameter: 2.66 meters, 8 feet 9 in. Burn time: 240 s. Engine Block I Road 0110 Thrust 298 kN 67.0 kLbf Specific impulse 330 seconds 3.2 km per second Chamber pressure 6.8 MPa 986 psi Improved Block I Road 0124 11D451 Thrust 294 kilonewtons 66 kLbf Specific impulse 359 seconds 3.52 kilometers per second Chamber pressure 16 2 megapascals 2350 psi Topic See also Comparison of orbital launchers families 
List of R-7 launchers, including launchers of the Soyuz rocket family <laughs>